Well, this might just be a job of the year for us. My goodness, man. I'm scouting the entrance just to show you what we got. This is Vermont. Just north of Lomita Boulevard by PCH. And we got a call for a tractor trailer over the side. Access through Vermont. That's the 110 freeway up there, the Harbor Freeway. And that's a fully loaded tanker with the tractor. Flew off the freeway uh, a good amount. And we're on standby while they get the company on the line to send someone to uh, transfer the load. I don't know if it's fuel or gas. I'm still getting information, but I'll know more in a bit. Okay, so quick up there. I just found out it's granulated boric acid. So it's in powder form. Now, obviously, we have the big iron to do this job fully loaded, even in this environment, but um, they don't want to. Safety reasons, which I understand, you know, that's smart. Just in case there's a tear at the bottom that it's being held in by the dirt. You never know once you get that pressure off it could come out and do some damage so lots of standby time it's gonna get dark really soon it's 6 p.m. now we are back in the morning uh, they didn't let us work it yesterday after all because the company is uh, that's offloading it couldn't get a trailer they're coming from far away or something so it's the next day it's the morning I got Dave here So we'll have the, the sunlight to help us. I think the trailer will be able to salvage. Dave has a new game plan that I'm excited to test out. It's gonna look pretty cool. Uh, I'm probably gonna throw up the drone right now because the game plan we require is pretty gutsy, but it's doable. Dave's using my saws off from Milwaukee to cut the fence. Working pretty good. I love that saw. You don't want to cut it from right here? Oh, got it. Yeah, duh. Woo! All right. But while Dave does that, by some miracle, there's a taco truck here. But you know where we'll be right now. It's early. I want to say it's, um, oh, it's 935. The, uh, the, uh, offload truck was supposed to be here at 930. So we got plenty of time to still get our game plan going on. Get some cool 360 footage and eat all right providing traffic control for uh the offload trailer i'll let this guy pass oh never mind dave's gonna handle that with hulk You want to stand there and I'll spot him here? Yeah, please. That way he doesn't hit this. Get under it, keep going. Get He's got it. All right. Now the fun starts. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> All right. So they're going to back up all the way to it. They got their back truck on the other side to pump it. Really nice professional setup. Once that's empty, then it's game time for Dave and I. All right. I did it. Got the drone unlocked for you. Be back in business. Thrown off for such a better view, you can see the severity of how bad this is. The driver was cut off, unfortunately, or from what I understand, and it's in the news, is there was a two-car accident which caused this guy um, to veer off the road. They hit him, 
impact is right there. Caltrans is working on repairing it pretty quick, I may say. Went all the way down here, straight, 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 straight. And then right here, there's a ditch. It drops down. That's where he flipped. That crash right here caused his tractor to flip. Rested up on that hill right there with the pole in front of it and took everything over. 50,000 pound load. So that's the freeway. That's the 110 in Wilmington slash Harbor City. All this stuff around here, it's, it's inaccessible. We're in a nursery, so there's a bunch of um, stuff right here. And only one way in, one way out, right there. We got a big flipper and hole parked right there, looking nice. Ready to rock. A lot of work, but luckily it's not 100 degrees today. The heat wave ended a few days ago. So we got that going for us. But this is gonna be a very difficult job. Working hand in hand with County Hazmat, CHP, Caltrans, and the company. Uh, we're running roll on the same page. This should be uh, one for the books. Big Flipper, you are dirty. You've been working you like crazy this past week. You notice my last few videos have been all rollovers, and those are just the ones I got on video. We've been slammed, man. So uh, I need to show some some love to Big Flipper when it's done. Dave's parked up here because the company, um, once that's empty, all the weight's right there at the bottom. And their fear is that once all that weight's out of there, there's nothing holding the tractor, it's just gravity and the weight of the trailer. So once all that's weighed out, they don't want the tractor to come over and slam. I personally don't think it's gonna happen. Tractor probably weighs 17,000 and the trailer, they said weighs 14,000 empty. Um, but still, you know, Everything to be safe, so big flippers already up here. We're gonna boom out all the way over this side and attach with the rim sling up front. Really high up, probably like 45 to 50 degrees. That'll prevent it from coming over in the rare event that it, it, it will slam. So once they do that, um, and it's fully out, that vacuum truck is out of here. Then it's my turn, I back up Hulk. This is all the stuff we're going to use just to secure it now so they can do the final offload and the company can feel safe so this won't come over. Synthetic everything, baby. New container rim slings. Look at that. Hard. But just to be safe, I got my rim sling protectors. These things are super cheap. Heavy rotator and heavy should have them if you use slings or loops. Just put this in. Even though this has a protective coating, I mean all about this stuff. Regardless, you put it in here and then it's all the alcohol. You just close it up. That way, in case it gets caught on anything jagged, I mean, you're working with the tractor, you know? It'll protect it. Along the life of your very nice equipment. Woo! The sun's coming down. I got the safety on the front and the back already done. Half inch chain through the rim with the shackle attached to a 10 foot strap. And then, uh, I use my rim sling on the back. This is not easy to get up here, but I'm young and agile. Now once I get down, uh, we'll give them the okay to finish pumping the last of it per their wish. And then uh, it's about almost time to put in Hulk. For this one, I will be using our headsets, our uh, Setcom wireless headsets. A job like this, I'm gonna have to be down here and Dave's gonna be up there, so we absolutely need to be in constant communication. Okay, Dave's set up in the front. Uh, I went to my truck to get my Setcom wireless headsets. Dave has a pair and big flipper. We got him in all the taters. Uh, I asked the, the owner right here if he wants to be in on the communication between Dave and I once the, the rigging starts. He declined, so not all of them want to, but I always give them the option. I can't stress these things enough how cool they are. That's it. That's all I need. You just turn it on. Wham! It's the communication between all the things. All the headsets. No base station or anything. 
But you got a little antenna I screw on right here. Not that we'll need it, but we're ready. I saw that. What are the odds, man? So because they're taking um, a while to waffle that thing, we got to call for um, a heavy machine loaded on a step deck trailer that collapsed because of the weight. They said 64,000 pounds. And it's in Wilmington, a couple miles away. So I broke free in Hulk since I wasn't attached to the, the call yet, the big rollover we're doing. And I'm gonna try to knock it out quick status. And hopefully by the time I'm done and I head back, they'll be, um, they'll be done offloading and ready for me to rig. Wow. How come the, the machine was put all the way forward? With the weight like that, there's, there's, that's suicide. That was bad loading. What I'm, all I'm gonna do is if I put my underlift and if I start raising it up, this is gonna come up before this comes up. You, you'd have to pick it up from here, which that, that full extension, there's no way I'll lift up 64,000. So by lifting up just here, all it's gonna do, bro, is bring this up here like that and fold it. I promise you, I guarantee you. I do this for a living, I know. That's not gonna work. Can your company get another trailer out here? I'm from Ohio. They just told me I'm gonna have to drive all the way to Ohio with no trailer. This is this is my, my only other option I see fit. I'm gonna have to probably move these cars or maybe not, but I'm gonna have to get the truck. That thing rotates 360 degrees, right? You'll get a truck right here, rotate it, lift up the machine while possibly you back up to it, reconnect it and take out the, the trailer without any weight. It'll be fine to pull it out of the way, then get another trailer to back up underneath and set it down right. The lift points though, I mean, it, this is a tough, very expensive, tough job. I might have to pass it to my buddies at Van Lingen so I can come back to my rollover. See how it's already tweaked right there? You can see it from right here, it's, it's compromised. It bends like that. Picking it up from here will absolutely break this. This will break, just to put it simple, this will break before this comes up. 100% guarantee. Once you back up on there, you will only have to you will only have to get those up by like that much. Correct, but the amount of force needed, I still have to lift up 64, whatever the weight of that is, which you said is 64, right? This underlift is gonna attach to right here your kingpin, just like your tractor would. Yeah. If you have something incredibly heavy here and something with no weight virtually right here, and you start lifting up on the part with no weight, it's just it's gonna it's gonna bend it like it can. The issue is that's that's loaded wrong. I have no issues giving it to our buddies over at that thing and <clears throat> now at full extension if I wanted to I could push the heck out of my truck and do the do the lift. Big flipper would be much better suited though. But um, we got this huge priority job and, and I want to be there with Dave. So this is a rare, rare time. I don't think I've ever passed up a recovery job. But it happens and I know they're in good hands. Back to the call we go. Pumping it out. Etc. 
excited to see how the Van Lingen team gets that, that machine sorted out. I feel much more comfortable with Big Flipper doing that job. I've done 60,000 off the side with that truck before, but as you can see, Big Flipper's a little tied up. I'm gonna join Dave up there, and I think my dad's up there now with some lunch, so get some grub in me before they finish over here. Looks like Dave's full from his uh Dave is full from his burger special taking a nap on a 30 foot straps. Get your rest Dave, rest up. You're gonna need it from when they're finished. Well it's finally showtime, the moment has arrived to put our wonderful plan into action. This bad boy is empty after a few hours. I'm gonna pop my outriggers. Get my lines out and uh, see how much gap I have under there. Ah, uh, that's cool. Oh, this is going to be sweet. As always, plans keep changing. So Dave and my dad have a new idea. But we're going to end up splitting it after all. It's much safer. The original plan was to just pick up the whole track the trailer in the air and swing it but we rotate that port that way now cool factor wise that's that's awesome it's more difficult and it looks great for the camera but practical practical wise this way's better to split it and we already got the tractor in here, so once we split it, Dave's gonna control the tractor and I'll take care of the trailer. Pull that out this way. And our tractor connects to it. And then we worry about the tractor after. And I can rear tow that out of here. Let me get my shackles. up my plan changed so much I can give you guys probably but we're going with the much safer route much easier this way when you try to superman taking up the whole thing in the air and rotating it tractor towards Hulk so Dave split it already so those two lines are attached to the tractor and Hulk has two lines attached as well the uh, fifth wheel's already split. It was much easier than we thought it would be. It came apart pretty easily. Uh, Dave's gonna use Big Flipper from up there to rotate towards his cab. As he rotates, he's gonna drag it, split it from the trailer. And that's what Hulk's for. Hulk has two lines attached to the front and the back to prevent it from coming over and rolling back over. So we're gonna I'm gonna rotate with him. And once they're split, he's gonna set it down. Where's he gonna sit it down? We can put it wherever we want. He can probably throw it in the freeway if he wanted to, but we're gonna put it right here. Out of the way. And then we tackle the trailer. So I need a good spot to put my drone. Shoot, I think right here is pretty dope. You got tension? Yeah, I got tension. We got our headsets on right now, so. I think we're ready, bro.
now that we got it uh split there's actually more room than we thought up there see how it funnels in dave thinks that if we flip it we can actually get the, the front of the tractor closer in the tunnel that will give us a lot of room here so when i pull from here to pull the trailer that way he can pull the trailer from there and it won't hit the back of the tractor we just need my saw to cut this barbed wire right here pretty dangerous to want to hit that but i hope the drone got that and uh they made it look really cool so smooth uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna flip it from here and i'm gonna help dave you want me to cut i'm gonna cut this now i don't think it's just in the way let's get my saw uh, ready this is where i love my new helmet it's got a built-in face shield uh, is there any tension here? No. Nah. No. Nah. Okay, trailer time. My famous wrinkle that I use so often. I'm gonna put it on the right here on the kingpin with two shackles and two 15 foot straps. Okay, I'm ripped to the trailer using my wrinkle. Go right in with the cables. As I go in with the cables, I'm gonna walk around to the other side. Just to show my rigging on how dope this wrinkle is. Bam! Look at that. And I got my strap protectors up top, up at the bottom. Not that I need it down here, but up there a little bit more. It's a bad tool right there, man. In fact, let me stand here so I can even out the. Hey, Dave, let me know when they get really tight or close to being tight. So I can play with the cables and get the uh, the wrinkle even. Okay, it's almost there. I see it. Man, that's a lot of slack, huh? You think I would have been better off with 10-footers? Nah. These 15s are great. I see it coming up already boom all right next one yeah it's even now now we tug on this one and as soon as i see the truck move it's go time i see it i see it and boom oh it's mine <clears throat> i'm gonna get at a better angle i'm gonna move the trailer as far forward as i can solo That'll slide this back here more, so it'll be easier for Dave to grab. It'll be a two-step process. Step one is now. Okay. Now we're doing the now we're doing the trailer rigging. This is Hulk all solo with my dad at the controls. Look at that Wreckmaster wrinkle working clutch. Look how amazing that is. Two 15 footers, one up top, one on the bottom with my twist lock shackles to each line. Hold on, hold on. You want to throw a catch right here, Dave? Woo! One truck only. Man, that was nice.
Oh, I guess my dad does know a thing or two. That was pretty sweet. Man, he went too fast. Go, Dad. Sorry, Dave, we didn't need you. that he was able to flip it so easy and without a catch in the back is because that thing is now empty so he had full control over it all right let's stop the video we got dave i'm gonna shoot air to it We do. Dad, you need big flipper. Yes, we know. Only when it gets to the end. You ready? We shot air to it. And my dad wants to do this just to get it as far forward as possible. Then we use big flipper to really straighten it out. Let's go. So as soon as he picks up off the landing gear, it's going to want to come forward. I don't think it's loose. Yeah, pick up. Oh, oh Dave, you, you have to switch them, I said. What? You have to switch them. No, your lines. They're, they're not what they are. The emergency is not the emergency. Yeah, I know the tags are backwards. I should have fixed that when I got the truck. That's what I was trying to tell you. There. All right, go. Air is shot. Trailer is being lifted and walked. Rear tire is rolling perfect. Take it easy rolling. now. It's rolling. Woo! That was smooth. I bet, uh, yeah, I bet y'all thought he was gonna crash. So Dave was there with the glad hat and release it which immediately locks the, the rear brakes. Then <coughs> once he gets it as much as he can, it's good flipper time. A little too slow there, Dave. A little too slow there, no? Hold on. We're making great time. All we need now is, uh, now that we got it as close as we wanted, this is it. Now we're gonna use Big Flipper to shut it up the back. So let's get my rim sling bag. Poor truck. It's always a mess now. Let's use uh, this shackle and this shackle and two chains. Trailer up, upright, let's go. We're ready.
guys are doing great. No, he's doing good. Okay guys, lift. Airborne baby, airborne. Oh yeah. That's why you keep more tension on it. Go. You guys are airborne. Not yet, Hector. Stand clear. Ooh, that is fully airborne. You guys need my cutter? The Sawzall? All right. Put this by my controls. It's in the air right now. No, Hector, I got it. Look at that. How awesome is this hookup, man? Uh, what seems like an impossible job is nothing for us. Okay. Yeah, that's easy, Hector. Okay, stand clear. Oh my god, it's hard without gloves, Hector. How are you doing that? <laughs> what are those? That's good right there. All right. Actually, no. Oh yeah, because my dad can pull it forward with Hulk. That's perfect. Yeah, but then how about this one here? Sure. Let me put this over there. Again, this is such an incredible sight. Right, we got ourselves a nice crowd. And set it down gently, ladies. Touchdown. It's okay. disconnect the rear we shot air to it Dave is my uh, red rag up there just leave that there for now Whoa. <laughs> I did that on purpose I did that on purpose. The rear's disconnected, Dad. Yeah. 
Now it is. No. Wait. Clear. Yes. You have to tuck in. Just tuck in. Tuck in as much as you can and then play with your cables. It's alright. You see the thing is you're going uphill, so all you need to do is just light tugs. You got gravity on our side for once. All the way. And then when you're done, Dad, put it a little bit this way so the tractor can get it even. This is called walking the dog. This is a very large dog. What happened? That's enough. Cause the tractor can get it for you. Yes, passenger side. Yeah. You're you're pretty much good, Dad. Another foot pass. Another foot this way. Another foot this way. Right there's beautiful. I like that. Let me take the air out. quick update guys we got this perfectly straight and centered Hector's gonna drop the landing gear Paul's gonna get out of the way and the tractor our tractor is gonna back up to this and take it out then the final step oh, more no no you're good the final step is the tractor upright which is gonna be done hundred percent by by big flipper up there hundred percent with big flipper Oh man, look at this. So the reason it was hard to uh, slide it over, if you can see this down though, it's pretty steep. So I'm gonna take a walk down here so you can see. This is where it starts and look. It's where the rear was over this stuff. I don't know if the drone can show it because it was up high, but uh, angles can be deceiving in video. Now Dave's pretty much rigged. This is gonna be an easy job for Big Flipper way up there. Trying to show off to Hulk. After Hulk did the trailer upright, Dave's gonna pretty much lift the whole thing up in the air and then let out on these two cables, the left side ones. That'll drop this side up while keeping these ones tight until it evens out and then he can drop it pin perfect to where we want it. I'll have to pull this out of the way too and then back up to it with Hulk. And then we're out of here. Out of here. Oh, all Hector has to do is shoot air to this trailer and it's out of here. Looks like when you tire service in the back. I get my nimbleness from. Okay, tractor's hooked up. Clear. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good. Test worked. Now I'm gonna move Hulk so we can uh, get the trailer out of here. Stop, don't stop. Okay. Good, I'm backing up now. Yeah, flashes are working great. One, 
two, three, go. You got, you got lift off, Dave. Start picking up on the front now. Going with the yellow? Right there. Coming up even, dude. You're doing absolutely great. Once your line's even out on the tension, it's perfect. <sighs> Dave, why don't you uh, pick up on the green? It's all way too much. Time. It's all right. Still doing a good job. Dude, this thing almost looks in fast motion. That was quick. down GoPro time <laughs> man that's amazing Hector it's ready for you to hook up oh he's getting rid of all this junk <clears throat> so as you can see the rear axle is busted up everything right here so Dave's gonna be holding it up in the rear so Hector can come back and hook it up that was a sick job. This? No? Oh, the gate? Yeah, let me get my gloves. Oops, almost forgot. There you go. Good job, guys. Good, 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 good. Front axle is butterflied out and rear axle is destroyed. We're using Hector's truck, truck five or medium duty, just to uh, limp it out into the streets so we can get it under land all. Be using Hulk for that part. Bye bye tractor. Oh yeah. Hey, that pa that passenger axle is all bad. Oh, Carlos is inside steering it. He's doing a pretty good job keeping it steady. Dad, are you guys going to put it in the street? Or at the end of the driveway? I think they put big flipper away now. Get 
last step of this epic saga. What seemed like a close to impossible job. Now at the end, you can get a good view of how, the, how crooked that is now. So we're gonna use Hulk to lift up the tractor. Then the land dog gets in front of it and set it. I'm gonna set up my truck. Now the job wouldn't be complete without direct overhead power lines. Oh well, I don't need that much height, so it should be well within 10 feet. They got the rear lifted up. I'm gonna use Hulk to lift up the front. I don't know, Carlos accidentally put the bed out thinking he was gonna <laughs> back up to it like that. That's all right. Perfect. Now, my trusty oblong with the graphic slash Foundry hook. I love these because not only does it double as a foundry hook, but they connect as bridles. So normally you wrap a chain like the old school method through here back to itself, but you lose a lot of working no limit that way. You still do in this way, but significantly less. Ah. So let's go five links in on the strong side. Boom. Same over here. Reach out. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, four, five. All right. All right. One more. I show these off often too, but these are the Miller grab frame grab hooks. So you go right under all this stuff, and it goes straight, rated for going straight to the frame. Look at that. What's up, brother? Yes, sir. Did you knock that front end out from underneath it? No, we're gonna lift. We're gonna sky it. No, I'm just curious if it knocked all that front end out because oh, I see what you mean. Car, yeah, kind of. here. You see, right? It knocked this, but this is the part. You see how it's all the, it's off the rim and all jacked up right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That. All right, brother. I'll let you. Hey, send me a bill. Itemize all the, all the photos, everything you got, dude. I'll send you the YouTube video one. It's done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see how many views we get. Bro, I don't think I have the address in Adelanto. Gonna need that. Maybe I'll, I'll give it to you now. Are you gonna deliver it tonight, or what's your of plan, course. bro? We're going straight there. Are you? We're going straight there. Give me there. an ETA, cause I gotta have somebody there to open up the electronic fans. Dad, ETA to Adelanto? What? Three hours. Three hours, bro. From what? What time do you think you'll be there? Three hours from right now. From right now? From this moment, About three 10? hours. About ten. Yeah, no worries, bro. I, I gotta make sure I have one. Seventy miles from here, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's about, about yeah, about seventy something. Seventy. I don't know. Wait, we, I always show off the rotator because that's what I drive. But we can do some damage with our medium duties, man. This is a bad truck. Josh, you need to blow out that. I am. I gotta wait for him to back up. Yeah. Arch nemesis. Rats, my arch nemesis. That's what we do, brother. No, no, you guys are bad. I'm bad. Bad. <laughs> bad ass, man. You appreciate the work, man. Like I said, I've worked with statewide, I work with GM, Toei. Statewide's great. You did a bad job making the trip in there. You missed the trigger. I know. I'll send you a video. Alright, yeah, man. Hey. I love happy customers like that. This guy drove up from Stockton, which if you're familiar with the area, is by Sacramento, San Francisco, and we're in Los Angeles. He's a big high up in the company to oversee this. He was very impressed with our work. I got GoPro.
Let me show you up close the beauty of these uh, grab hooks that go to the frame. Look, it's got that. Oh, I gotta back them up. See how it's not touching anything up there? And those oblongs make a great bridle. Alright, front first. I don't need it. I don't need it to let, let me put So the tie bar's bent? I'm gonna put it as much on the driver's set as possible. How about that? I like that. How does it look over there? Let's find out. Johnny. Oh, that looks good. That end has to come in more this way, the rear. No, I'm, I'm not worried about the rear. I can't do anything about that. I'm gonna do it. I like this. This has got a letting out. Okay. Let's put it down. And then when you're done, you just ta-da! <laughs> Very easy, my friend. Put it back to itself. <sighs> Same on this end. Ooh yeah. Ooh yeah. Check this out. Didn't crush anything. Yeah, this thing flipped and it got destroyed, but nothing done my ass further. Out of the way so he can uh, go forward and I do the back. All right, so just tug, tug, tug. Dropping. Carlos, how does it look over there? The wheels. It's still it's off still the ground. In. They're in. They're in. Pull the cable, buddy. Man, this thing's junk. Look at that. They're both messed up. Got it. I Watch my truck be all scratched. Yeah. yeah. I'll use my truck for this part, guys. Just leave it there. No, go forward first. Rotator all day, baby. Going up with the super duper. Going up with the super heavy hood. I don't know if I can take this. Dad, is it flipping my truck? Hey, let's put the fence in the hood right now. Oh, great. There's barbed wire. That's it. Get you a truck that can do it all with such ease. What I'm going to do is let out. On the glue? Only? Alright, great.
great job, Dave. Great job, Dad. Everyone involved. Uh, trying to see how I can get out of here. This is gonna be fun. But I got my workout out editing this video. I got a ton of footage. Lots of GoPro, lots of drone, lots of different shots. I'm gonna try to make this one a bit longer. People have been wanting to see more, so if anyone deserves more, this one. My guys are all secure with the land on the trailer, so off to the customer's yard we go. Well, my truck is destroyed in terms of how dirty it is, so it's a big clip. We'll have to reorganize everything at the shop. Wrapper cables, is that mine? Mm, that could be. Carlos is gonna finish securing this and two and a half hours to his destination. You want to the trailer yeah, who's taking the trailer? Hector? No, I'll take the track. I'll take the trailer. To Adelanto? Yeah, Carlos and I will go. Oh, they got the bus working late tonight. Yeah, they do. You get overtime? Not Carlos. <laughs> We are out of here. Dave and Big Flip from the back done. Oh, poor dog. Hi, Papa. Hi. Now we're out of here. Hope you guys enjoy.